Hey, you online 118 people of the lab, lab number two from modular one. It's going to be called reaction time. Simple little thing. I figured I'd ease you up a little bit and give you kind of an easy one. You take a meter stick and a friend. You've got to get yourself a friend. And what you do is have your friend hold the meter stick. And you should have your hand against uh, some kind of, of tray or a side of a table or something like that so that you're not tempted to cheat and put your hand down. And then they don't tell you when they're going to let go. You put the zero centimeter mark right there on the fingers, and then they let go, and you don't know when. And then you catch it and just write down your reaction distance, how far it fell. When you're all done, doing five of them, dump the high one because you were blinking, and dump the low one because you got lucky. Take the average of the, the middle three with the uncertainty. Don't forget the uncertainty. You might have to be just looking at how thick your finger is. So you know the uncertainty of the measurement on the distance. Keep it in centimeters if you want. It's probably fine. And then you're going to use that equation from chapter 2, which is delta y or x, the change in distance, equals v initial times time plus 1 half the acceleration times t squared. But we dropped it from rest, so this is zero. There is no v initial. And what is that a? The acceleration due to gravity. So you could change that into the distance it fell equals one half g t squared. We use the letter g for the acceleration due to gravity. That's 981 centimeters per second squared. So from that, you can do a simple algebra question and get your reaction time. And then the rest is just the lab right up, followed along. And that's a nice easy one. Should only be like a page long. That'll be much better than the approximation lab that you just handed in. All right? Email me if any questions.